Hi, I'm Peter Hensey with Power Curbers Product Support. In this video, we're going to look at number two steering sensor on the 5700 series machines. The number two steering sensor has two different functions. It is used for navigating radii tighter than 10 foot, or it can be repositioned to steer the machine when reversing on the string line for models with front steer only. To position the number two steering sensor for radii, begin by getting online using the number one steering sensor and both grade sensors in automatic, as you would usually do. Once in position, stop the machine, flip all the steering sensors to manual or standby. This is essential to keep the tracks from moving while making any adjustments. The number two sensor one should fall 26 to 32 inches or 74 centimeters behind the number one steering sensor on the same mounting tube. On the operator's panel, switch from number one to number two steering. This disables input from steering sensor number one and activates sensor number two. Check the steering alignment on the control panel and if necessary, rotate the number two sensor on the tube to center the signal on the amplifier. The track shouldn't move when the steering is toggled between one and two in auto. Alternatively, if you want to use a number two steering sensor for reversing on the line, the steering sensor should be placed as far back as reasonably possible. Perform the same setup steps as for the radio position to calibrate the number two sensor for reversing on the line. Once set up, place the one two toggle switch number one for going forward and two whilst reversing. If you have any questions, please watch the other sensor placement videos or give us a call.